Tesla is making a big change about its next new vehicle. Tesla changes initial build location for its next generation affordable electric car platform. Welcome back everyone. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Another excerpt from biographer Walter Isaacson's book of an Elon Musk shares new details about Tesla's next generation vehicle platform, including plans for a different build location than the automaker previously reported. In other ways, Tesla will build its next new car. We thought it was going to be at Giga Factory Mexico. Looks like it's going to be elsewhere, where I'm about to tell you. In the excerpt with Axios published on Friday, Isaacson details Elon Musk's well-documented desire to build Tesla's next generation electric vehicle platform used for self-driving cars. Although Tesla announced plans earlier this year to build the next generation electric vehicle at an upcoming new Gigafactory in Mexico, Isaacson says that Elon Musk changed the initial build location of the robotaxi platform to Gigafactory Texas in Austin as recently as May. It looks like Tesla is rushing. That means this is going to be Tesla's new vehicle. It's going to be sooner than we thought because looks like Tesla is not willing to wait until Gigafactory in Mexico is built, it will take at least a year, but it looks like Tesla will start bringing that new robot taxi, new affordable electric vehicle, new electric vehicle platform, smaller, affordable, to Gigafactory Texas, where Tesla already has things up and running. Tesla engineering will need to be on the line to make it successful, and getting everyone to move to Mexico is never going to happen, Elon Musk told Isaacson. While Giga Mexico is still expected to be built out for the new generation of Tesla electric vehicles, the excerpt from that book details Elon Musk's desire to have the automakers design engineers even closer to the assembly process. Although in Mexico, where Tesla is building Gigafactory in Mexico, is not that far from Gigafactory, Texas. This would allow engineers to provide feedback instantly and rather than relocating these engineers to Giga Mexico, Musk reportedly decided to change the new platform's initial production location to Tesla's headquarters at Gigafactory, Texas. To me, this makes sense. Samuel Garcia Sepulveda, governor of Mexican state Nuevo León, where Giga Mexico will be built, said earlier this year that the automaker would build a production line from the ground up to build Tesla's $25,000 compact car outside of Monterey. A move to debut the initial production of the upcoming electric vehicle at Giga Texas wouldn't necessarily change this detail. Beyond Giga Texas being Tesla's headquarters, it's also where Musk's primarily workplace is located, and it includes a high-speed assembly line for production that includes updated automation functionality. They have everything at Gigafactory Texas. Engineers, instant feedback, the lines are working, testing is there. Bringing all that talent immediately to Mexico will take some time, and probably not everyone is willing to relocate there. According to Isaac's Isaac Sunday, another report from Axios, the upcoming robotaxi electric vehicle platform is expected to be inspired by Cybertruck, built on the same architecture as the $25,000 car design. The electric vehicles are expected to be similar, even using the same assembly line. However, one key difference between the two mass market electric vehicles is that the robot taxi may not necessarily include a steering wheel, while the passenger vehicle's version will. Isaacson also shared details from a design review session in February for the electric vehicles, during which Tesla chief designer Franz von Holhausen showed the $25,000 car design and the robot taxi design next to each other. Musk responded with enthusiasm, particularly due to their futuristic Cybertruck-like design. When one of these comes around the corner, people will think they are seeing something from the future, Musk said during the meeting. Still, Isaacson notes that Musk's excitement is far higher for the robotaxi project than for the $25,000 car, especially given how much the Tesla CEO expects to see transportation redefined with the self-driving vehicle platform. 
According to von Holhausen, the Tesla team even had to convince Musk to use the same vehicle architecture for both the $25,000 vehicle and the robotaxi design. It's really not that exciting a product, Musk previously said of the mass market electric vehicle. So I don't know, what do you think, friends? Personally, I'm far more excited about the $25,000 drivable car than the robotaxi because I think it's a needed step toward moving more people from gas cars to electric vehicles. I get it that in the long term, robotaxis could be more exciting, but I see burning massive amounts of fossil fuels as a bigger problem than getting rid of human drivers. What do you think? Let me know find your doubts in the comment section below. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com coming up with more Tesla and electric vehicle news. So please subscribe to our channel and bookmark it. God bless you, everyone, and I'll see you soon in our next re uh, report. And also visit us at TalkNews.com for more Tesla news. Have a great day. Yesterday, a Tesla Cybertruck video ignited a debate about whether the all-electric Tesla pickup truck has a powered or manual front. The original poster of the video claims the footage proves that the Cybertruck has a powered front trunk or frunk, but some Tesla fans aren't convinced. If you have dealt with Cybertruck or you have been close to Cybertruck, please let me know, you guys, if you know. Because Cybertruck Owners Club member Swallow13 posted a short clip of a person, presumably a Tesla employee, opening and closing the Cybertruck's frunk. The presumed Tesla employee seems to encounter some resistance while manually opening and closing the frunk. The, uh, this member believes there was resistance due to the great motors of the Cybertruck's powered trunk. You're seeing that video on your screens. So there is a quote uh, by the Cybertruck Owners Club saying, the video shows an unpowered truck having its hood raised lowered against resistance of its geared motor. If you're familiar with it, it's be, well, it'll be obvious. The video is for those who have to see for themselves and apparently who have experience with moving an unpowered motor against the gearing road, the uh, Cybertruck Owners Club member. So if you are familiar with these things, please let me know what do you think. Cybertruck's trunk, actually frunk, is powered or manual? Other members who watched the video were still skeptical about the Cybertruck having a powered frunk. One suggested that the video showed a frunk with a power assist feature. However, this original poster refuted the argument. It's not a powered assist, it's that these units being transported are not powered up. That's why we see the 12 volt jump starters out before they drive them, original poster responded. Earlier this month, Tesla Cybertruck images were posted online of a Cybertruck that looked roughed up with scuffed up doors and cracked windshield. Some netizens speculated that Tesla conducted some crash tests on the Cybertruck. Even more interesting were pictures of Cybertruck's front with actuators on the right and left sides. The image hinted at a powered front, Tesla also seemed to be charging the Cybertruck's low voltage battery in the picture. The Tesla Cybertruck will be produced at Giga Texas, friends. Tesla is preparing for Cybertruck production already. Last week, it halted production at Giga Texas to update the Cybertruck assembly line. Who knows, maybe by now Tesla has built probably 200 plus Cybertrucks because I think last week I reported that Tesla has built uh, something like 100 plus trucks. And one week has passed, I'm sure Tesla has improved a lot of things. And now we're learning that last week it halted production at Giga Texas to update the Cybertruck assembly line. Very exciting. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. God bless you and let's move to our next Tesla story.